Charmers. <laughs> Charmersaurus Hex. Follow me, class. Not much further. Welcome to the Valley of the Charmersaur. Amazing, spurtastic, all oh, that and more. This valley has gone unchained for millions of years. And since the charmosaurs were herbivores, that means plant eaters, the plants and trees you see around you were the same ones eaten by the charmosaurs way back when. <laughs> wow. Too bad there aren't any charmosaurs around anymore. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm kind of glad. I love animals, but aren't charmosaurs very big with lots of teeth? <gasps> like that! <laughs> oh, daffodils! Posey! Posey! Uh, Are you okay? I'm fine, Mrs. Green Sparkle. Guess I didn't see this hole. <gasps> oh, that's not an ordinary hole. That's a fossil of a charmosaur's footprint. See how their big feet balance their big bodies and tail? Whoa, Posey's right. Charmosaurs really were huge. On second thought, maybe it's good they're not around anymore. Can you imagine something that big in Charmville? What you doing, Lavender? Oh, just being a paleontologist. Huh? A paleontologist is a scientist who studies ancient life. In fact, that's your next assignment. Gather round, class. I want you all to be paleontologists, too, <laughs> by collecting some of these plants. But remember, only the ones lying on the ground. No picking. This is going to be charmazing. <laughs> then I want you to use them to decorate your own model of this valley. I can't wait to get started. Me too. To the charm house. <laughs> you are still in class. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Green Sparkle. Oh, that's okay. I love excited students. Now, you may work in groups if you wish. Just remember to make sure your models are as real as possible. Okay, class dismissed. Now, to the charm house! <laughs> Pictures. It looks just like the valley. Now all we have to do is finish making the charmer sores out of this glitter goop clay. I've got a head made. And I've got a body. Hazel? Almost done. There. Four more legs and one more tail. Okay, let's make some charmer sores. Hmm. What do you think? Snapdragons. Well, the valley looks great. Thanks to the plants you found. But the charmosaurs look a little droopy. Not to mention goopy. <laughs> but we're supposed to make these as real as possible. I wish there was a way to make these charmosaurs look more real. <gasps> Maybe there is, with a little bit of magic. Good idea. I think it might help those droopy, goopy charmosaurs. Sparkle up, charmers! We wave our wands! We play our wands! We pour our special potions! We sparkle up and cast a spell in a single charming motion! Sparkle up, charmers! To make our charmosaurs seem more real, give this clay more look and feel! worked perfectly. They look so real. Now all we have to do is paint a little and... Dinner's ready, Hazel. Okay, Mom. We're just finishing our project for... Mrs. Green Sparkle, you can finish after dinner, okay? I am a little hungry, too. Meet after we eat? Okay. Home in a pixie second. Come on, Treble. 
<laughs> Guess they're having a sleepover tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then we came to the Valley of the Charmosaurs. Ooh, that was my favorite field trip when I was in charm school. The Valley of the Charmosaurs? I never got to go there in wizard school. But I can do a mean impression of a Charmosaur. Rawr! <laughs> huh? Huh? Not bad, Dad. Eh, I'm still working on the scary roar. Anyway, let's eat. <laughs> I think I feel like a real charmer sore now. <laughs> oh, let me give that roar one more go. That was pretty good. Um, th that wasn't me. <laughs> a real charmer sore? Ah, shoot! Go away! Whoa. Tell me you see this too? Yes, dear. So, Hazel, you spelled your glitter group charmosaurs? How'd you know? Just had a feeling. <laughs> Hazel, you've got to see this. Hazel, you won't believe this. Oh, I'm seeing it and believing it. Let's get these charmosaurs to the town square. There's a lot more room there. Nice charmosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> All we wanted to do was make our clay charmosaurs seem more real. <laughs> this real enough for you? This should give us enough room. For what? To reverse the spell, of course. <gasps> no, Mom! Wait! You can't reverse the spell yet! Huh? We can learn so much from them. I can't believe I'm saying this, but please, can we play with the big scary charmosaurs? Please! <laughs> Prehistoric, please? Well, I suppose it could be a good learning opportunity for charmers and dads. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but just for a little while. This is so spartastic! Yee-haw! Oh, sorry. I've wanted to do this ever since I was a little charmer. Something you don't see every day. You do if you live in Charmville. Somebody's thirsty. Uh. Um, Mom? <gasps> oh, dear. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, Gary. Um, how do we steer this guy? Come on, boy. Oh, never mind. Um, uh, I'll get some milk to wash down my tasty roof with. Good thing he doesn't like gingerbread. <laughs> oh, John, so you did want it to be real. Oh. I know, too real, right? Oh, dear. Pretty charmazing, isn't it? Ew, that's yucky. Okay, I think it's time to reverse this spell. Wait! No, Mom! I'm sorry, girls, but I'm afraid there's nothing in Charmville these Charmosaurs can eat. Eat? Hold on, Mom. I may know where to find something they want to eat. Where, Hazel? Lavender, your school bag. 
Of course! The leaves you collected in the valley! Oh, yeah! These came from the valley, where the Charmosaurs are from. Once they tease these plants, they'll follow us anywhere. Charmosaurs! Over here! It's working! Now all we have to do is lead them back to the valley. Here we are. Welcome to the Valley of the Charmosaurs! I have been dreaming of this day ever since I was in wizard school. Charmers, your idea to get the Charmosaurs here? Charmazing. Thanks, Mom. But I think we'll stick to glitter goop clay from now on. Good idea, Hazel. Totally. This kind of real was way too real for me. <laughs> <laughs> Enchanting mess! Hazel, time for your Enchantress in Training lesson! Oh, Mom, I totally forgot! And I was just going out to play with Posey and Lavender. Can we do it later? Sorry, Hazel, but this lesson just can't wait. <sighs> okay, Mom, what are we learning today? Well, Gary ate too many bubbleberries, <laughs> and now he's got a case of the bubbleberry blurbs, which causes him to float. So, how do we get him down? Oh, I know. Descendo! <laughs> oh, well, that was fun, but um, I'm still up here. <laughs> oh, why didn't that work? <laughs> Your wand isn't powerful enough to use that spell. So what do you need to do? Um, try another spell? Something bigger? Very good, Hazel. <laughs> So which spell would you use? Uh, I don't know. Can't you just tell me? Posey and Lavender are waiting for me to play. Yeah, um, can't you just tell her? An enchantress in training has to learn how to do this one on her own. Well, that's okay. I kind of like floating. <laughs> All right, so what do you do when you're not sure what spell to use? <sighs> Check Spellopedia. Right. Magic emergency. Oh, dear. I have to take this, Hazel. I'll be right back. Hello, Mrs. Nomeo. What seems to be the problem? Sorry, Gary, but I left my mirror phone at the charm house. Don't worry about me. I don't mind waiting a pixie second. Okay, then I guess it's to the charm house. <laughs> Get here. <sighs> Gary ate too many bubbleberries. I have to get him down from the ceiling. I need my mirror to check Spellopedia. Can't your mom get Gary down? With a wave of her wand. But she wants me to do it by myself. Why don't you wave your wand? I tried, but my wand isn't strong enough yet. So I have to do things the hard way and find a more powerful spell. Oh, here's one. Bubble, bubble, sparkleberry soup, eye of eel, and toes of net. Neat? Newt? What's a newt? I don't know, but it has toes. <laughs> <laughs> Turned and twisted, floating, feeling, get this gnome down from the ceiling. Well, that's a bit of a tricky spell. I know. And my mom won't just let me read it off Spellopedia. She'll want me to memorize it, which will take forever. And then we won't have time to do anything fun. But to be the Enchantress, you do have to learn all this stuff. And I will learn it all. Someday. I just wish I had magic like my mom does now. Just a wave of her wand and... <gasps> That's it! What's it? Instead of memorizing another spell, I just need to boost my wand's magic. Then I could spell everything with one wave and still have time to play. Charming! Amazing! But how are you going to boost your wand's magic? With magic, of course. Come on! I'm glad I could help, Mrs. Nomeo. Bye. Tick-tock, Enchantress, you have a very busy day. You have to judge the Charmville Junior Charm Contest. Then you have a tea party with the fairies, for goodness sakes. 
Don't forget to bring the cupcakes. I better get brooming. There it is. Hazel, your mom's wand? Yep. We'll just borrow a little of her enchantress magic. Then I'll be able to do all of her spells. Are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, I'm sure. Well, if you're sure, I guess it's okay. Sparkle up, Charmers! We wave our wands! We play our wands! We pour our special potions! We sparkle up and cast a spell in a single charming motion! Sparkle up, Charmers! Emerald green sparkle bird, petal of flower, borrow the Enchantress's magical power! Yes! Now to try my new magic. Hiya, Hazel! Uh, did you find that spell? Nope, don't need it. I've got a better idea. Descendo! Um, I still have that floating feeling. <sighs> it didn't work. My magic isn't any stronger. Hello, Charmers. Time to magic up a new do for the fairy tea party. There we go. Uh-oh. Mom's wand isn't working either. Lavender! <laughs> okay, how do I look? Uh, sparktacular? Oh, hmm. my wand must be overworked. I'll just put on my tiara. Don't forget about Gary Hazel. I'm on it. Your wand isn't stronger. And your mom's magic's not working. Hazel, you've Hazel the Enchantress. I've powered down mom's magic. What are you going to do, Hazel? What am I going to do? Check Spellopedia. Oh no. I should have said borrow some of the Enchantress's power. I borrowed it all and lost it. Toadstools, this is really not good. It says here, the wand will be in sleep mode until we get more sparkles from the fairies on Mount Sparklemore. <sighs> I'm late for the contest. See you, Charmers, later. Wait, uh, Mom. What is it, sweetie? Can I come with you? I'd love to learn some new spells. That would be excellent training, Hazel. But have you forgotten about Gary? Uh, I just don't want to wake him up. That's very thoughtful of you, Hazel. We'll defloat him when we get back. Let's broom. We're late. This is terrible. Meet me at the park. I have a plan. Hazel! Coming, Mom! So, we have to present the winner of this year's Junior Charmer with an official crown of flowers. Spartastic! Okay, what's the plan? We'll just have to do Mom's magic work for her until we get more sparkles to fix her wand. We don't know Enchantress magic. Hazel, it's time to present the flower crown. I need a flower crown, and fast. Do you know the Enchantress flower crown spell? Nope. I know a flower spell, but that's all. It'll have to do. Come on. And as your prize, I award you an official crown of flowers. Uh, hey, Mom, look! Is that a rare green wing sparkle bird? Really? Where? Aw, it flew away. Oh, a new look for the official crown. My wand is acting very strange. Well, congratulations to all the junior charmers. Now to the fairy tea party on Mount Sparklemore. This is perfect! We can get sparkles from the fairies on Mount Sparklemore, re-magic Mom's wand, and she'll never know. But I'll need your help. Oh, looks like we're early. Good. Now I have time to magic up some of my famous glitter and gold cupcakes. Wait! Mom, I, uh, have a question. Yeah, that's it. Can you explain the start of the Super Complicato spell? You're interested in the Super Complicato spell? Uh-huh. That's real enchantress magic, and it will take a long time to explain. But we do have to wait for the fairies. So, the Super Complicato is the most difficult spell in all of Charmer magic. Do you know the spell for enchantress cupcakes? Nope. We're just going to have to do it the no magic way. Basically it. 
I'm so happy you're curious about Enchantress Magic, Hazel. It's charmtastic! Almost as charmtastic as a fairy tea party. The tea party! We were so into the magic, I almost forgot. Oops! Almost forgot cupcakes, too. Hmm. My cupcakes are usually a little more magic-looking. Oh, well. I'm sure they're delicious. Enchantress! Fairies! Oh, no! Uh-oh. A cupcake mishap. Don't worry, Charmers. That's odd. I wonder what could be wrong with my wand. I know what the problem is, Mom. I was trying to borrow some of your magic so I could hurry up and do my Enchantress training lessons. But ended up putting your wand into sleep mode. I know. You, you do? do? But why didn't you say something? Let's just call it an Enchantress and training lesson. It's important for you to figure out how to fix your magic mistakes on your own. Now, do you know how to fix my wand? Easy! Spellopedia says that all we need to do is recharge it with fairy sparkles. <laughs> Thank you! Very good, Hazel. Now, time to take care of a couple of things. <laughs> oh, yummy! The Enchantress's glitter and gold cupcakes! I'm sorry, Mom. I promise I won't try to get out of my lessons ever again. Good, because it looks like Gary could still use your help. Are you ready to try that spell, Hazel? Okay. Bubble, bubble, sparkleberry soup, eye of eel and toes of newt. Turned in, twisted, floating, feeling. Get this gnome down from the ceiling. Descendo! Ah. Oh, hey, Charmers. Whoa. <gasps> well, that burst my bubbleberry blurps. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yummy. <laughs>